morning guys saturday mornings in the fall nothing better than being in the garage and doing a little work prepping sleds getting them ready for the season um, as you guys know we just picked up our 850s and um, we've got some studding work to do and i think we we put out a video last year around these stud boy studs and had a bunch of questions from guys they wanted to see a little bit more detail on you know what's involved with the uh, with the studding for those so we're going to show you today how that works what we do to get those studs those types of studs into the track i'll show you guys over here these are the uh the stud boy super light backers and jesse got me uh got me interested in these a couple of years ago they kind of act as like a scoop um, as you add them to the track which is really nice and they also hold the studs in really really well um, in comparison to you know traditional stud with a nut on it so we've got some um, some super light backers and these are the plus backers which are great for the uh, the single ply tracks and then we've got some of these stud boy powerpoint uh, plus studs and these will be going in on my 850 xrs renegade we've got 96 studs 48 backers and um, we're going to start this job today what you are going to want to have as well on the side is just some whiteout. So I use this just to do the track markings when you're using uh, the studying template, which I'll show you. So we picked up one of these Woody's uh, track templates, which you can get from uh, anywhere, really. Uh, Royal pretty much had everything I needed to, to get the job done. So picked up that. And then you're also going to need a track uh, plug cutting tool. I've had this one for quite some time. I probably should have picked up a new one, but it's okay, we'll, we'll use it. And then, um, you know, obviously some kind of cordless drill. Sometimes I'll use or, or I'll plug in a compressor if I'm running out of battery or if I need more juice. Um, and then you can also pick one of these up too. So Studboy sells this specifically for these backers. And what it does is it just sort of clips on to the back and allows you to get a good hold on it. So when you're putting the studs through, um, you know, nothing moves around and you can get a good, a good handle on it. What Jesse and I um, did find though, installing the doubles is once you get one started and you put the other one through, it pretty much holds itself in place. So you don't necessarily um, need the tool. So a bit of a pro tip for you. All right, so I'm gonna uh, get started on the 850 today. Um, we're gonna basically start with just marking the track um, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping the new tracks would come with the right marks for the doubles, but they don't. So you've got to still use a template and go around with, uh, with the whiteout. So we'll get that done. Then I usually go around and I'll cut all the holes and, um, and then I'll get ready to install the studs. So we'll show you guys uh, some close-ups on how it's done. All right, so just getting prepped here to do some of the uh, studying work. And what I want to do just before I do anything is check the template against this uh, backer. So what I'll do is I'll look at the Woody's template quickly and just make sure that when you set it over top of the, um, you can see sort of the A and B on your template, the plus signs, and I'll actually pop those out after. But when I set it in there, I don't know if you can actually see inside, you just wanna make sure that it lines up perfectly. And obviously in this case it does. So um, I wasn't sure, to be honest, because it's a Woody's template, and I wasn't sure if the stud boy would be uh, the same uh, distance in between the two studs. So just checking that on the template, and everything looks fine. I can see both pluses line up in the middle, um, in the middle of the uh, the stud backer. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop the holes out of the template, and then I'm going to rest it on the track, and we'll start to to make our marks. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've just punched out the holes from the template. And all we're going to be doing is we're doing, remember, we're doing a staggered, a staggered pattern, two studs, so one backer per row. So you're going to end up doing two here, two here, and you're just going to alternate two here, two here, two here, and then two here. So basically doing right to left the whole way down the track, and we're going to mark all those holes with the whiteout. All right, so I've got the track template basically just sitting in there and I'm just gonna take my white out and I'm gonna start marking the holes where I wanna drill. So two there, then two here. And it takes a bit of time to get through it all, but two here.
And you want to try to do as good a job as you can on the marking just because you want to make sure that the holes are, are really um, centered just so that the pattern comes out nice when you're uh, when you're actually going to install the backers. So I'm just putting a dot right in the middle of each of these holes. And basically that's what you'll end up with, which is all the marks that you need in terms of where you need to, uh, to drill. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually gonna try and do this a little bit faster. So I'm gonna see if I can flip the sled on the side and then I'll uh, just continue along until I get them all marked. And then basically I'm just gonna go around with the drill and, and pop them all out. All right, so the best thing to do is definitely to elevate the back of the sled so that you can roll the track a bit in order to, uh, to make all the marks. job easier and a little bit faster definitely if you've got one or if you can somehow jack it up in the air to do the marking it's great and then what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna use this which is uh, a sidekick or a kickstand and it basically it's gonna go in between the bars and that way I can roll the sled up on its side and it'll help with uh, drilling through the track so I'll show you that as well a buddy of mine, Kevin, actually shaved this down so it fits perfectly in the Gen 4s because it's actually from a previous um, sled. All right, that should be good. And all I'm going to do, flip it up side down. And that's it. We'll just let the sled sit on its side and now you can see all the marks right and we're just going to proceed to drill those out with our track cutting tool all right so i'm going to start up here and proceed to start cutting one side we'll flip it back down jack it up I'll move the track and then rinse and repeat definitely recommend the side kicks they're great you can actually see when you look at your track there's like a crease right in the middle of the actual um, in between the two lugs, there's a crease that goes in between. You just go over top of that half on each side. All right, so I pretty much got all the, uh, the studs put into the track. And I'm basically ready for the next step now, which is going to be the final step actually, is to put the, um, put the backers on. So before we do this, um, one thing you do want to make sure you do, Stud Boy recommends that you get a bucket of warm water with some soap and all you're going to do is you're just going to basically soak the backers 
in the uh, in the warm water. So we'll just get those in there. prevent them from any possible cracking. So we'll let those sit, you just have to let them sit for a few minutes and then uh, we'll start the install. Alright, let's see if we can get down here. So we're just about ready to start uh, doing the install with the uh, backers. So what you're going to want to do is grab a backer from your, uh, your soapy water and basically what you want to do is the scoop on the backer is going to be pointing in the direction of the track. So the direction of the track, the arrows are pointing that way. That's the way you want it to scoop so that when it comes around, it's actually using the, the right part of the backer here, the scooped part of the backer to, to grab snow. So you're going to just put that on to your two studs and it should go and sit on there pretty easily. Now you're going to need, I forgot to mention at the beginning, you'll need a T30 uh, Torx in order to, to do the install you have to get under it So I've got one of these sort of like bendable extensions that I'm going to use on my uh, DeWalt um, Impact gun so I'm going to start with this and we'll start on one side then we'll do the other side and we'll see um, How it goes and for the first one just because I'm by myself. I am going to use the tool So I'm gonna I'm gonna clamp that on there and we'll see how this goes. There it is. So once you start one of them, it's usually pretty easy to go to the other one. So let me just get this one in. There we go, that's one. So once you get one side started, then work to the other side and, um, and then you can tighten them up. bit tedious with one guy, but definitely if you can get a buddy, it's much easier and faster. All right, so I've got them started now, so I'm just going to jump underneath here and snug them up. That one's good. And that should be good too. And that's it guys. So basically you've got uh, <laughs> probably about two hours of this to get them all uh, in there. It's a little, you know, a little tedious in terms of the time that it takes, but definitely worth it. And what I like to do afterwards is I'll go around as well just with, um, with a hand socket and just tighten them up to make sure that they're, they're perfect. Pretty good as well. Thank you.
exhausted. Um, so that job took a little longer than I had hoped, but last year I had a hand. Jesse was giving me a hand with it. Um, not too bad. Once you get started and you get into a rhythm, you pretty much get the hang of it. The one thing I will say is when you're putting these in, make sure that you start one of the threads on the other side with the impact gun just a little bit, then go to the other side and then continue to tighten, tighten them up. But all in all, really happy with these. Came out great. They look good. And uh, yeah, don't forget the scoop points the same way as the arrow on the track. And uh, yeah, went with yellow backers this year. Looks great. Nice addition to the machine. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, the uh, Stud Boy backers with the uh, Super Pro Light uh, Plus um, doubles. And that's kind of our setup. 96 studs is perfect for trail running. And like, uh, you know, you can always add more if you need them, but that should be good. I know I've, that's what I've run for the last couple of years and it's been fine. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys like the video and, uh, you know, reach out to us if you have any questions. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.